You've got to come up with a plan, come up with an objective. So you've got to always, always have a goal in mind and always have a plan in mind. I am Baruch Shem Tov and I have a passion for fashion. <laughs> We're here on Fifth Avenue, the prime shopping district right in the center of New York City. And this is where my ties are sold. Hey, nice tie! I am Baruch Shem Tov, and I produce a line of ties and t-shirts which are sold in New York, LA, Japan, and Houston. These ties really started out as almost a hobby for me. I, you know, I made these ties for myself to wear to school, to sort of, you know, mix things up a little bit in my school dress code. And I started to get tired of wearing the same old neckties. That's basically it. You know, we had to wear a tie every day, and a lot of kids, you know, sort of saw it as a noose in a way. A noose and a nuisance. And I thought, you know, the tie can become something desirable. It can become something that people want to wear rather than something that people have to wear. When you're developing a line of products, create a product that doesn't exist. Create a product that people will want to wear, that people will want to buy, and that no one else produces. I'm always looking for fabrics which are really unusual, which have a lot of texture, a lot of color, which are really bold. I like the tie to be a statement. Ties that have a punch, depth, vibrant colors. I've been selling for $95 to $110, depending on the fabric and the construction. Wow. I like to push the boundaries because that's the way to bring about innovation and to bring about new ideas which can then be marketed. Well, this is the tie that started it all. So one day after school, uh, I was just, you know, uh, hanging around in my room and I had a blue bandana lying around and I thought that could make a great tie. And I just sat down and I had never sewn before and I sat down and I made the tie. Wow. And it was, you know, sort of crude, but it looked like a necktie and I wore it the next day to school and the response was great. And this was the second tie that I made. This was my first double tie, which was literally uh, one tie on the bottom and then I took off a portion of another tie and literally just sewed it on. And I wore this to school uh, the next day and everybody wanted one. And that's when I had my first thoughts that maybe this could become a business. And I realized that there may be people out there who would buy my ideas. One day I was right here and I was just shopping around for fabrics and I heard a lady speaking about Takashimaya. Takashimaya was one of my favorite stores growing up. It was a store that I loved to window shop and I loved to, you know, just look around and explore because they always had the most unusual products. And when I heard this lady speaking about Takashimaya, I went up to her and I introduced myself. I had no idea who she was, but I just started to tell her about my ideas, about my ideas for the neckties. Turns out she was the head buyer for the store. Bottom line, a week or two later, I had an appointment with the men's buyer, and that's what got my ties into the store. This is Takashimaya, and this is where my ties are sold. Let's go talk ties. Um, so these are your last two ties that we have left? Yeah, you know, this has been, uh, this one is an Indian linen that we actually did in uh, four different colorways. I get hundreds of phone calls a week, and people always trying to come in to see myself and the other buyers, because it's a, a kind of a, a cool place to be for somebody's products, because we're so visible uh, right here on Fifth Avenue. So lots of people do want to get in, and it's very difficult for somebody to get in here as a vendor. Well, you know, uh, of course I was a bit apprehensive because it was my first formal business meeting. I saw him, and I'm like, oh, wow, this is different, but I didn't want to be condescending and, you know, say, placate him like he was a kid. And I remember, you know, my main objective was really just to be able to display the ties in a way that really reflected their quality and their unique design, and, you know, in a way that I'd really be able to convey my passion for the designs to the buyer, to Mr. Mandel. I think our relationship with Baruch is going to continue. His ties keep selling, and they show no signs of slowing down. I also want to show you the t-shirts. There's no such thing as a dream that's too big. And that's really what I followed from the beginning. I had these ideas. I wanted to get these ties produced. I wanted to sell these ties, and I knew that I could do it. It's not going to happen to you. If you really work hard, you're able to achieve almost anything. I love New York. This is where fashion happens. This is the fashion capital of the world. This is where the place to get inspiration and the place to pursue your dreams. Now, if you'll excuse me, I've got to get back to school. Bye. Big and plenty soda of the world's city.